well recently i was surfing on youtube the post match presentation regarding bangladesh versus england and i found many sources and those were really effective uh, except that z news uh, cricket expert show where three experts were there named Navjot, singh sidhu ajay jadeja and shoaib malik and the host was gaurav that skinny guy at first it was a good performance by bangladesh they beat in a good side who are rather despaired mentally low with low confidence after facing a lot of debacles with the uh, with the recent past they have faced off i feel sorry for england i hope they will come up with better plans in the next world cup uh, let's come across to gaurav who started the conversation like he knew that a mino team will qualify for the quarter final so what does it mean by mino you are saying mino three or four times and you are laughing by your own words was it a comedy show have you ever seen a, a professional post-match uh, analyzing shows a uh, host that he's analyzing and laughing analyzing and laughing you need to be more mature man you are rather a good comedian uh, rather than being a host of a cricket show analyzing show whatever it is let's come across to Shoaib Malik well who are you you are not now in the team you are a talented batsman talented bowler or talented cricketer yes I have been watching you since your debut i was a kid and you were really talented but after the at the interim of your career you have faced a lot of controversies more than your talent so it makes you a bit overrated and now right now nobody needs you and uh, let's come across to ajay jadeja who's a match fixer he has been facing a lot of controversies regarding that match fixing in 2000 against the south african series lots of player, player were included there including him after that being sacked for five years being banned for five years from the board and the court of indian panel uh he went to bollywood as a flop guy his movie was also a big flop and then he he had come and now criticizing players don't even know the name of the players can't even pronounce the name of the players precisely and saying tuskin or ruskin man it is tuskin t-a-s-k-i-n tuskin Ahmed, who took five wickets at the age of 18 and a half years old against India on his debut in ODI against the so-called best batting lineup of this world. Yes, I can consider India as the best team in terms of batting lineup. Yes, they are the best team in the World Cup. They are they are the favorites to win the World Cup. They haven't been beaten yet. But you need to respect your opponent. The way you all started the conversation was like you are facing a team who can't even stand at you in front of you. And now just since it is giving uh, wrong statistics, wrong references, giving 128 match, only three matches was lost, three matches were lost, and giving a wrong stat. Man, it was 28 matches, not 128. You are neither a good commentator nor a good cricket analyst. You bring your poor jokes, you bring your poor quotes, you bring your poor rhythmic lines, what you, whatever it calls in Hindi. It, it is maybe shairi or what. I don't know. You are killing those things actually those are really vulgar and cheap and people make fun of you even the indians make fun of you you are self-proclaimed guru who makes yourself an overrated prick you are the difference the only difference between you and that guy sitting on the bench of a tea stall having a five bucks of tea cup of tea the fact is he is honest with his things that he knows his ability but still he is criticizing cricketers but you are criticizing being an overrated prick at the other side i can tell you that if self trolling or self mocking was an art then you are the picasso of it you are mocking by yourself people laughs at you nobody gives a damn it's not about that you said anything about my country it's always about you are criticizing other countries since I have following. I have been following you since 2002. You have been criticizing everyone, making fun of everything. But at the end, what what happens? What happens? You know, any team can get knocked out in this quarter final or semi final. Even India can get a knockout punch by any team. You got to respect your opponent, whether it is UAE or Canada. Be a professional guy. But I don't give a damn whatever you say, like any other. But as a human being, I feel for you. You need a medication. You need to consult a psychiatrist because you are a self-proclaimed guy who thinks he is the master of cricket. But you are neither a good cricket commentator who had been sacked by ESPN Star Sports five years ago. 
you are neither a good judge of a comedy show who laughs at every joke every poor joke before the jokes even get ended you start laughing you are neither a good cricket analyst who give wrong references wrong preferences you are not even good in shares who give cheap cheap burger lines which is really funny even my 8 years old sister can say or speak good rhymes than you you need a good medication right you are making your <laughs> self uh, a bully even see harbhajan singh was on a tv channel i forgot that name he 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 was answered that he was questioned that is uh, india is able to beat bangladesh definitely indian is a good side they are unbeaten for six matches and he replied it quite well he he was logical he said the way ba- bangladesh and india is playing india have much chances and he he know that logically even even as a bangladeshi i can say that india has more chances but you can never know what happens in cricket i respect what harbhajan have said, told in that particular show recently after the match against england versus bangladesh but whoever and whatever you are saying you shoaib malik ajay jadeja and gorov what kind of show is this we don't give a damn whatever you say we might get knocked out by indians its chances are more as a honest being person i can say the chances are more to get knocked out even there are also probability to knock you out we never know the future but one thing i should tell you not just sing siddhu in ramayan according to indian mythology the lankan king ravan underestimated the power of lord hanuman but in a split of a second he made lanka into a- an ashes the cost the cost of underestimating someone is really high and irre- irre- irreplaceable so i think you need a good medication and i am not taught to disrespect anyone we love people who loves us we disrespect people who disrespect us we tear them apart who wants to tear us apart too people will get emotional by this video and can abuse me and can find the mistakes whatever i am saying yeah i am telling that i am not that much good at english maybe you may you may find that grammatical mistakes as you are used to say that rip english he can't even speak english yes i am not that much good in english but i am ex- expressing my thought i guess you have understood it i know whether you will get it or not all the best for team india but the way you are speaking people started hating the fact that whatever you are and whoever you are and people don't even respect you not even it's not about bangladesh you are disrespect every country they don't like you and i don't even give a damn and i think you should get well soon you need a medication and i hope uh, it will be a good match and i don't know who will win but india have more chances as i said i'm not being that much overestimated that bangladesh will crash india or like that i want a good fight and we know we can give a good fight you want to give it back or you don't want to give it back you said you won't give it back but piche bhaga se takaya dekh